there's many different approaches uh, in the hot market that we had before during the what we call COVID times. Uh, we would list it a little bit under market value. Every time I put a quote, it all depends uh, on many variables. So I'm sort of generalizing it, but I also want to make it specific. So during the COVID times, we would list it a little bit under market to attract as many buyers as possible. That is what we call a seller's market. When we're more of today in August 2022, more of a balanced market, we price it according to what other homes have been selling at that price, at those price points, and also most importantly, what's active. So in a seller's market, we generally don't see many active competing homes for sale. But when we're in a balanced market, there might be at any given time in an area of 100 homes, maybe eight or nine homes for sale. That means buyers have selection. So your list price should go toward more what the average price of a home is selling and comparable to yours as well. So if it's a townhouse, you price it competitively with a townhome. If it's a single home, of course, that you will price it comparably in accordance to that single home. And again, you have to match it up with how the home presents and how it presents itself and making sure that you're priced competitively with your competitor. There are gonna be homes that are be nicer than yours. There are gonna be homes that are, are not as nice as yours. So having that right list price depends on the market conditions and also what uh, is also available on market at that time, in addition to what has been sold uh, as well recently.